Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Best Tech Channel on YouTube. Now, as you can see, today I have a pretty exciting unboxing. I have the PlayStation Platinum Wireless Headset, the PS4, of course. I know it came out last year, but I keep on getting questions on my Stealth 700 video about this headset, so I finally decided to pick it up so I can answer some of your questions about it. By the way, I'm on my knees right now because my chair was too high for the camera. And try to ignore the microphone right here. Please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. This may be the unboxing video for this headset, but I will also have a full review, and I'm also going to be comparing it head-to-head -head with the Turtle Beach Stealth 700. And I almost forgot to mention, this headset does have a 3D audio feature, so that's why I picked up uh, Horizon Zero Dawn right here, because that's one of the few games that support 3D. 3D audio feature. The other one is in Charter 4, and there's a couple other ones which I don't have, and I've wanted to pick up this game since it released last year. Alright, enough talking, let's unbox. Alrighty, so here we have the box of the PlayStation Platinum wireless headset. Very quickly, let's take a look around it. So, Platinum wireless headset in the front with a picture of the headset. Enhanced 7.1 virtual surround sound powered by 3D audio technology, extended battery life, rechargeable battery, advanced noise cancellation hidden mics. Oh really, so the so you can't even see the microphone. On the side we have how games were made to sound, uh, 7.1 virtual surround sound experience rich, you have your 3D audio headset companion app, there's an app for it, uh, compatible hardware, it works with the PS4 and it works with the PlayStation VR. And the virtual surround sound modes are only available with the PS4 system. On the back side we have an image of the, uh, the ear cup, over ear cushion for comfortable gameplay, alloy headband for durability, and lighter weight suspension strap for weight dispersion, easy access controls, 50mm drivers, provide amazing clarity and range of sound, a 3.5mm headphone jack next to mobile, fold up slide into the travel pouch, it does come with the travel pouch and an easy connection wireless adapter. On the other side we have uh, the contents, so a platinum wireless headset, wireless adapter with 3D audio processing components, USB cable, 3.5mm audio cable, uh, 3.9 feet, travel pouch, quick start guide, and safety and support guide. Okay, time for my knife here. Got the tape. I've actually had this knife for a couple months now, but I haven't used it to unbox anything. So this is a first for it. Oh well. Alright, let's look inside the box. Very nice packaging with the PlayStation logo right there. Now we open. There we go. And I believe... Oh, they're not folded in right now, are they? Oh, this feels real good. It feels like very premium, very flexible. This band up here kind of feels like rubber. I don't, I'm not sure what it is. It, it's real good. I like, the, I like the way it looks. It looks pretty big though. The insides of the ear cups are blue. Okay, we'll take a look at that in a moment. Let's lift this right up. This is also very good quality. Very good packaging by PlayStation, gotta give them that. And inside here we have another box that contains more goodies. So in here we have the things that it mentions on the side of the box. We have the 3.5mm headphone jack cable, or headphone cable. Uh, we have the USB cable to charge. We have the wireless USB adapter that plugs into your PS4. And we have a travel pouch, travel case, whatever you want to call it. And then of course the safety information and uh, manual. And of course we have Horizon Zero Dawn, which I'm also going to unbox on the camera because why not? Everyone enjoys a nice little game unboxing. Let's see if I could record this without cutting myself. Oh yeah. That actually went in real smooth. It's a very sharp knife. Could have been bad. I haven't done that in a long time. Actually, the games I've previously bought in the last couple months have been digitally, so it feels good buying a game disc. So we have the complete edition. Uh, there's actually a code behind this, which I'm not going to show on camera. And the disc. The entire the case looks really good with the parts right there. Let's move on to the buttons and ports on the ear cups. On the left ear, we have the sound and chat buttons, status indicator, which lets you know if it's paired, charging, or other things power slash audio mode switch. This one has three options. It has one for off to turn off your headset, one is standard, and two is bass boost, which I'm probably going to be using. You guys know I love me some bass. Under that, you find the volume up and down buttons and your mute slash side tone button. One beep means low volume, two short beeps means high volume, and one low beep means side tone off. Under that, we have the USB port for charging, the microphone, which is integrated, 
and the headphone jack to connect to mobile devices like your smartphone. And on the right ear cup, there's only one switch, and that's the VSS slash 3D audio switch. In the off position, it gives you the standard stereo output, and in the on position, it gives you enhanced 7.1 virtual surround sound. That's what VSS stands for. The 3D audio works if you're playing a game that supports it, like Uncharted 4, Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't think there's many titles currently available that, that support this feature, uh, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be more in the future, especially uh, PS4 exclusives. The setup process is very simple, and it takes a couple of very easy steps. First, you turn on your PS4, then plug in the USB cable to charge your headset. It probably comes with a bit of charge, but plug it in just in case. Then, with the PS4 on, plug in the wireless adapter and you should see a notification on your screen. Your PS4 should automatically detect it and take care of all the settings for you. But if it doesn't, you just go to Settings, click on Devices, then go to Audio Devices, and select USB Stereo Headset or something like that. Make sure that All Audio is also selected in the other settings right below it and you should be all set. It takes like 10 seconds, it's really easy. Alright, now I've used it for about an hour and I'm impressed, but not surprised. Here are my first impressions. I'm not sure how I feel about the design. It looks and feels very premium, but the way it looks, someone will either love it or hate it. I'm not a big fan of the design, but as long as it feels premium, I'm okay with it. The headband has this brushed aluminum, which looks nice, I just don't know how it'll hold up against scratches over time. The ear cushions have this leather look, I'm not sure if it's real leather, but it feels really good in the hands and on the ears. The positioning of the buttons takes some time to get used to since there's a lot of them, but I like the feedback you get with them. Buttons like the volume up and down are clicky, so you know when you press them. This headset looks bigger than it is. It is big, but I'm pretty sure it'll fit all head sizes. I have an average size head and I had to extend the band a little bit. It could extend a lot more and go a little smaller, so there's a good amount of range for different head sizes. One thing I liked as soon as I unboxed it is that there's no optical cable. I like this for two reasons. One, the PS4 Slim doesn't have the optical port on the back. Many headsets use that port for audio, though on the PS4 Slim you would be at a disadvantage. Not with this headset. All you need is a USB port for the adapter, and another one whenever you need to charge it. The second reason is just less cables to manage. No optical cable will make your setup look a little bit cleaner. Another thing I like is that the microphone is integrated. Pretty much all headset companies make the microphone stand out and go in front of your mouth. This one makes it look like a normal pair of headphones you can wear in public. Not that you would do that. I don't know how good the mic can get though. For those of you who want a mic test, here's a quick one. Alright, so this is a sound test with the headset on. It's plugged into my PC right now, it actually works, the audio and everything, it sounds pretty good. Uh, the microphone is down here somewhere hidden, as you can see it doesn't come out like on most headsets. And to mute it, all you have to do is push a button somewhere back here, I'm not completely sure where it is. So here's the microphone quality, it should be good for pretty much any game. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys will play like Call of Duty or something like that, and use the microphone. I haven't heard it, so I don't know how it'll be if you want to like make videos with it, uh, but for gaming I'm pretty sure it's going to be just fine. One more thing I also like that doesn't happen with other headsets, at least not the ones I've used, is that this one gives you a battery indicator. When you turn it on and switch modes, you get an indicator on your screen. The indicator tells you which mode you're on, if your mic is muted or not, and how much battery you have left. This is just great. Overall, from the hour that I used this headset for, my first impressions are all positive. The headset was comfortable, the sound was great, I didn't test the microphone a bunch, but it seems good. So far, I would say that the $130 this currently sells for is just the right price. Everything seems to be working as advertised, but I will have a full review very soon. I just have to test and experience the headset a little more. Anyway, that's it for this video. Please leave a like, a comment, and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.